Uh, welcome. We're going to try a bit more red burn. Uh, so uh, I've just changed the Reckless Instinct deck a little bit. I had uh, what's the name of the creature? Radus Firebrand. I've just dropped her for a couple more lightning strikes. And let's see, I've sort of simplified the four drops. So I've gone, I'm, I'm going for two Raiju and two Defiler of Instinct. I did have Creepy Puppeteer and the uh, Dragon. I wish I could think of the names of these things. Uh, so yeah, Creepy Puppeteer and a. Because uh, it's probably Mythic, isn't it? That's Sushi. Thought let's let's be a bit more consistent and just sort of test out Raiju and Defiler and see see what they can do. I do I still think Creepy Puppeteer is excellent, but uh, I'm going to try this out instead. Let's uh, go into standard with this. Best of one. Probably ought to start playing best of three, to be honest. Might be a, might be a bit more interesting. You might see a bit more variety there. Right, okay, interesting. We have a Kumano, but no creature to pump up. This is, I guess this is the problem with uh, dropping a couple of creatures. Uh, let's keep seven. And I'm going to just um, hit them with play with fire to look for a, a cheap creature. Let's see how that goes. Well, it's another Kumano. Um, kind of crazy to get rid of this, but we, we, we really want a cheap creature if we can find one. It is another play with fire. Uh, I think, yeah, we've got to play the Kumano. We've got to find land as well, so... We might miss out on the token, but uh, it's not a huge disaster. face with that. Target creature or planeswalker. Uh, do we want to just blow that up? Yeah, let's blow that up right now. Probably should have mulliganed the hand, to be honest. Um, but, uh, there we go. We, we top deck. Mountain just when we need it. That does help an awful lot. Right. Let's swing in. It's blocked.
I felt like that felt like the right thing to do. You just uh, go face with play with fire to scry. That's right, creatures, cheap creatures and lands. Interesting, he has exiled his creature because I don't have any creatures. It's a nice, uh, it's, yeah, this is one of the uh, really good fable combinations. to Grotto. Get rid of the mountain. And we'll just... Uh, it hates to tap this Grotto. We're going to cast this for full cost. I'll do it myself. Now this is a juicy secret. Okay. Our eyes are everywhere. Okay. He has a blocker. Right. Uh, play this for full cost. Think. Oh, right. We can just take out Kato. I learned what I need to. Then we give him a point of power and swing in like that. When you copy a Shivan Devastator, you copy all the tokens. And he has Kato number two. For get in, get out. Mission. It's not legendary. It's like your defenses aren't even there. I think it it'll make a zero zero dragon. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Shame. So that'll be a non-bow. Okay. We found our mountains. I think we can play one of these. Uh, let's... Take a swing. 
wing. Like that. Okay, lose. I don't usually see this guy flip over. Plus two, you say. Gains trample and haste. Hmm. Very interesting. Trample is a big deal. There's no secret I can't uncover. Hello? Okay, another mountain, sure. It's a 6-6 six, six this time. Okay, let's get the Defiler of Instinct to 6-4. Uh, do we want to kill Kato Shizuki, perhaps? I'm going to say yes. Certainly this uh, first strike is pretty useful. Okay, yeah, you are going to first strike him and then die. That's fair enough. Oh yeah, he gets to cast, gets to uh, get his card. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Ah, Love Tithe Harvester. That's what he needs with his uh, Kiki Jikis. Then he can pop, start popping my dudes. Free. Oh well, at least it's not a mountain, it's a crystal grotto. We can uh, scry. Get rid of the next mountain off the top, or the next grotto, as it may be. Okay. I feel like this isn't what happened when I happens when I play against red decks. Maybe it does. I just know. Just don't notice those games. So yeah, we've got through sixteen cards, and we got nine land. Unfortunately, I think. Uh Now this is a juicy secret. And look at the bottom of the deck. We have scryed a couple of land to the bottom as well, as well as a Kumano. And we do it for another land. Okay, sure. Okay. I see how it is. Yes, I think. Uh, last couple of days, I've s suddenly everyone's playing Shieldred again, so uh, I think the Rending Flame is a very good, uh, a very good card to play here.
I'm uh, going to immediately reverse my decision to put in lightning strikes. I think we need those early creatures. Find the uh, Rider's Firebrand. There we go. I do wonder about the Cemetery Gatekeeper. There's a lot of graveyard stuff going on. Yeah, one Firebrand. Let's go. Let's go for a Cemetery Gatekeeper. Just to mix things up a little bit. Okay, this time... Ah, oh, look, my deck has rewarded me back for the uh, Radis Firebrand. Uh, I can uh, play that on turn two. My opponent's going first. Hmm. We have some uh, lag going on, I think. I think I'm going to diagnose, yeah, MTGA is not responding here, so let's end it and restart it. That uh, fancy land he played at uh, Sparrow's headquarters crashed the game for me. Hear things happening here. Okay, right. I'm gonna say, oops, no, I can't say anything, of course. Been punished. Disconnecting. We'll see if we can uh, do anything with a. Uh, with a late start. I'm quite happy to see a third land, actually. Let's go for yeah, the mountain and the river. What would it would have been more tilting if I got a chance to play Kamana and then it then it um, froze. Ah, the virtuoso! Oh my goodness! I think it's a good t chance to play the Cami's Flare. All right, let's uh, see. Eventually we do need um, four mountains. I'm, I'm confident we will draw a fourth mountain if we need it. And uh, it's a Kami's Flare for you. 
I guess he missed a land drop, which is unfortunate. That's more like it. Okay, yeah, it's having a little issue. We're not getting back to the screen. I think uh, it might be time to close it and reopen it again. Client is just giving me uh, uh, some more challenges, I guess. Um, okay, I actually got to my four four wins there, but I feel like I need to play at least one more game. See if it can go off without a hitch. It's a phoenix chick. Yeah, it's good. Quite good with the face breaker. Okay, it's not not quite going off without a hitch at the moment. Okay, right, they they are they are alive. Wow, it's out of there. Okay, we top deck a two drop, which is amazing. Very uh, thankful for that. This has double strike. It actually does two triggers with a face breaker. No, it, you know, in the unlikely event that it survives. It's out of there, yeah. Right, Obnix. Join me. Uh, a naked Obnixilus. So he didn't, um. <laughs> Let's decline that. Pleasure doing business with you. No more lands, please. Right, what does it say on this? Yeah, if I, if I punch Obnixilus, I don't get a treasure. 
and treasures are potentially uh, card draw. So there's a, an argument here. We we use a rending flame on Obnixilus. Smack and go face, getting a treasure. Otherwise, you could play with fire and just hit him. Might be, might be a good use of play with fire. Play with fire can also go face though. This isn't over. Now, arguably, I could have waited with a rending flame. I could have gone, right, let's get a treasure, let's take a card off the top and see if we can uh, do something with it. I've conquered entire plains. <laughs> One city will be evil. You work for me now, Runt. Well, the good news is we've got mana up for play with fire. And I'm just going to kill the Omnixilus. My revenge will be cruel and painful. I will thunder and rise you. And swing in. I'll put we'll put a token on the face I think. I haven't seen Obnixilus for a while, got to say. Let's see if he's got a third copy in it, because he's got a devil he can sacrifice this time. But yeah, this guy's mi certainly missing uh, creatures. Okay, it is Obnixilus number three. Yeah, I, my prediction was, was correct. Uh, and he will get two copies. Give me a point of direct, direct damage. He is going to make a devil. My goons will make quick work of you. I will decline to. <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. That. So yeah, it's one of those uh, those funny ones. Where you you draw three copies of your uh, your planeswalker. Um, I've got an idea actually. Let's use our Sokanzan. Make out two one ones because that effectively is going to kill one of the Obnixilis. Uh, you can obviously kill him because you're going to be unblockable. You go face. Four attackers. Oh. Uh, forgot about the Phoenix chick, didn't I? Okay, Ray's going to concede. Okay, we fought our way back up to gold one. But yeah, he had a, f a very awkward hand there. It's funny you don't see more people with awkward hands, I suppose. I'm us it's usually me that has the awkward hand. Uh, yeah, little look at the deck. So yeah, we basically were trying two Raiju and two Defilers of Instinct, which uh, you know, these are these are actually very new additions for me, so I've, I've not got to play with these cards before. So it's very exciting. Uh, and I, what I like about this deck, I like Professional Facebreaker uh, and the fact that you get two triggers from the first. You get the first. Uh, strike damage phase and then the regular damage phase. So Lizard Blades will actually trigger this twice. And we we do have the Defiler's another first striker, so uh, that's another thing that can 
get another trigger onto that, which is quite fun. Oh, Cemetery Gatekeeper, there you go. He has first strike as well, so that's, that was a good reason for adding him. Not played with this card very much, but I think it could be pretty good. Uh, I, I, I do happen to know, though, it's because uh, it does say whenever a player plays a land or cast a spell, if it shows the card type. So it's gonna, I can exile the um, that creature from his graveyard, the uh, tenacious underdog, let's say. But then every time I play a creature, I'll take two damage. But I think I'm okay with that. Uh, so yeah, seems seems like a nice little bit of um, graveyard hate in a in a that you can play in mono red. We didn't see any electrostatic infantry this time. Uh, Cami's flare was actually good. It was sort of better than lightning strike this time because I I managed to get something modified. So sometimes sometimes it's better than lightning strike. Sometimes it's weaker than lightning strike, but. Uh, we were lucky this time. Uh, yeah, Stormseeker was pretty cool. Quite nice that it can... It's good to pump up a big first striker. To have even more first strike. And we actually got to use Sock and Zang Crucible of Defiance to make creatures. That was fun. And that it helped us take down an Obnixilus. So, uh, yeah. Glad we have it in the deck. Uh, and one issue people might be worried about, I guess, we've got 20 mountains and 4 grottos. It's like, what if I draw an entire hand, all, all the lands in my hand are grottos? I think it's very unlikely. I think you've got 20 red sources. Uh, you need 18 red sources to cast Chandra on curve. That's the most difficult spell to cast here. So should be absolutely fine. Anyway, I think that is a uh, relatively short video. Um, thanks for watching.